going to talk about problems number one and two um, on the preview for the unit one milestone task. And number one and two have to do with plotting and labeling on a coordinate plane. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because there are actually some mistakes that people make when labeling a coordinate plane. And so I want to show you some of the mistakes and then I want to show you the correct way to label on the coordinate plane. Now, so for, for some people, I see people putting their numbers like this without using the lines called tick marks. So that is one mistake I see. One mistake is not using tick marks. And another mistake is just putting the numbers in the middle. What I want what I hope that people do is they actually use these lines, these lines right here, these gray lines, and they actually put them to good use. So what we want you to do is use these, gray uh, these grid lines as you label. So for example, zero is right here where the x-axis and the y-axis cross. So that's where zero is, and I like to draw the zero like that. Now, everything else after zero to the right are positive numbers. So here's one. See how I put my tick mark on the gray line? So draw your tick marks on the gray line. Tick mark, tick mark, tick mark. Keep drawing those tick marks on the gray lines. And these tick marks will help you put the numbers in the correct place. Okay. Now to the right are positive numbers, but to the left are negative numbers. Here's negative 1, negative 2, and so on. Okay, so I'll leave that labeling for you to complete. And then here, now let's look at our y-axis. Where do negative numbers go on the y-axis? They go here, below 0. Okay, so we need to be careful. Another mistake that we see students make is they start, they put their negative 1 over here. That's not correct. Ne zero and this line right below, this is where negative one is. So tick mark, negative one. Tick mark, negative two. Tick mark, negative three. Okay, again, I'm using those gray lines to help me label accurately where these numbers go. And if I keep on going in the positive direction, I'll do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. Okay, so hopefully this helps you plot these numbers in the accurate and correct place. All right, good luck.